Hello and welcome back to the Quadrilla Marble Run World Cup presented by Hot Bay Toys here on Rebecca's Marble Runs. I'm Jeremiah and I'm glad to welcome you to the second event of this tournament. In the last event in the United Kingdom, one getting first place, Qatar coming in close at second, and Portugal in third place. How will these three teams do in event two? We're about to find out as we enter the race to the goal. As we take a look at today's track, it is a little bit different than normal. Also, don't forget to use the coupon code Hoppe Marble Run at the Quadrilla Marble Run website to get 25% off all Quadrilla Marble Run sets. Here is the layout for today's track. As you can see, it's different than last time, and the goal of this event is a little different as well. The main goal, get to the goal as quickly as possible, and that is how you will win this event. As we take a look at the track, we have funnels, we have chutes, we have the blue catching bells, as well as a plinko section at the very start of the course that will stratify the marbles right at the beginning of the race. And now it is time for event two of the Hoppe Quadrilla Marble Run World Cup race to the goal. Here's the bracket system for this event. Four groups as normal and the bottom two will be eliminated going down to the semifinals and the bottom three will be eliminated from each semifinal so we only have six left in the final. Now it's time for group A. Indonesia, Brazil, China, Germany, and Portugal will be starting us off through the Plinko for the first time and Portugal gets a huge boost of speed. They bypass the entire Plinko section. But since then, they've already fallen down and it is Brazil and China leading the pack in that left funnel. Into the bell they go and now they're gonna start going through the domino section. And who's gonna get to the goal first? It's Portugal with the comeback win. China coming in at second, Brazil in third place, and that will unfortunately eliminate Indonesia and Germany, which I'm not sure if Germany even finished. Let's take a look at the replay. You can see Portugal there really just going off to the right side and bypassing the entire Plinko section. But then they have a hard time getting through these little metal uh, catching bell elements, and that allowed Brazil and China come an overpass in these little plastic spirals. Somehow though, Portugal was able to catch back up. Let's take a look here. They were neck and neck with uh, China. I think China got deflected by one of those dominoes and that's what let Portugal take the win for this first heat. So we'll be Portugal, China, and Brazil advancing to the semifinals. Now it's time for group B. Group B, we have Netherlands, the Philippines, Switzerland, Qatar, and Vietnam. And there goes the Netherlands straight through the Plinko like we saw with Portugal in the last race. Let's see if they can come back and take the win like Portugal did or will some other marbles be able to overpass them. They're still in the lead, a little bit different than Portugal in the last time. But here comes Vietnam and, and Netherlands back for the win. Vietnam almost took it but got slowed up by the uh, dominoes there. And Philippines does come in third place. That will be the last marble to advance out of this group. So Netherlands, v Vietnam, and the Philippines will advance from this group. Qatar and Switzerland will be eliminated in this group stage. You can see there Qatar way back in the spiral. They didn't even finish last though. I'm not sure what happened to Switzerland. You see there Vietnam getting slowed down by some of those dominoes, allowing the Netherlands to catch up and they were able to take first place and then Vietnam and then the Philippines. Qatar and Switzerland were way back there and Qatar was able to get fourth. So it's Vietnam, the Philippines and the Netherlands that are going to semifinal A. Now it's time for Group C. We have Mexico, Canada, the United Kingdom, India and Japan. United Kingdom the last events champion, let's see how they do in this second event. They're in third place right now. Mexico is in the lead, being followed by Canada and then Japan. The United Kingdom is down there in fourth place. Now they're in fifth. And it is still Mexico in the lead, but being followed very closely by two other marbles. But who's that? That's Japan. Comes out to lead, but hits a marble. Not a marble, a domino. They still are able to take first place. Mexico coming in barely at second. And Canada in third place. The United Kingdom getting eliminated in the first round. That will definitely hurt them in terms of points. 
India in fifth. They will be eliminated as well. See there, Mexico was in the lead, but somehow Japan came through the other spiral. While the camera was watching Mexico fight off those other two marbles, and Japan was able to do a comeback win. Didn't seem like much of a comeback though. Once they got to the field, it was Japan in the lead by a lot. So they have secured their spot in the semifinals. So Mexico, Japan, and Canada will advance to semifinals B. Now it's time for Group D, Spain, Italy, France, Argentina, and the USA. And they're off, and it is uh, Italy who comes out through the Plinko first, being followed very closely by Spain and the USA. France and Argentina are having some trouble, especially Argentina. All the other marbles are already in the other spirals. Argentina is still lagging behind. And it is Italy coming out with the win. But here comes Spain and they overtake. But they mess up. And it is Italy who comes out with the win. USA getting third. Barely over France. What a crazy round. Also Argentina getting a DNF. They didn't even get to the field. Let's take a look at that replay. A lot of action there. Spain was the first one to that little metal bell. But Italy was actually able to exit first. Let's take a look at this finishing replay. Italy in the lead by a lot, but then they have some trouble with that domino. And Spain uses that domino to deflect, passes Italy. Then they have a rebound off of that wall, and Italy just keeps it straight and strong. And they got the first place. And then France hitting that knocked over domino. They almost had third place, but USA came out with the third advancement spot at the last second. Great move by the USA as well. Spain, Italy, and the USA will advance to semifinal B after a frantic round. Now it's time for the first semifinals. After we take a look at the results from the 13th to 20th place of this event. Qatar, the last season's or the last event's second place finisher. Did not do very good. He already got eliminated in the first round. Now it's time for the first semifinal. The bottom three marbles in the semifinals will be eliminated. We have Brazil, China, Philippines, Vietnam, Portugal, and the Netherlands. And off they go. Who comes out first? It's Brazil. And then China coming in second. Philippines in third. To the first uh, spirals they go. And Portugal is still in the lead now. Being followed very closely by China and the Philippines. And here comes Brazil and a surprise win by Brazil. China coming in at second. And who comes in third? It's the Philippines. Let's take a look at that replay. No Marble really came out really quick and then Brazil was able to kind of get out of that Plinko quick before any other Marbles could. And they were able to get out to the lead first. But I think Portugal actually was able to get to the Spirals first. See there, Portugal was the first one out of the spirals. But then China was able to get out of that catching device first. But I think they lost out to Brazil. They hit a, 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 a domino there. And Brazil just went without hitting any dominoes. And Philippines came in at third. And unfortunately for Portugal, they're the first one out of the spirals. But they lost out just because of that little blue bell section. We'll have to keep an eye on that as we go into the next races. Brazil, Philippines, and China advance to the final. Now it's time for semifinal B. We have Mexico, Japan, Canada, the USA, Italy, and Spain. And it is Italy and Spain who come out first. But Spain has some trouble in that little blue bell. And it is Japan and Italy in the lead in that spiral. But don't forget about the USA. They're over on the other spiral. Into the bell they go. And it is Japan going out for the win. But they hit a domino slowing down quite a bit. And a bump from behind from the USA. And they get first place. USA gets second. And Mexico gets third. Spain gets fourth. And Italy and Canada have both a DNF. So there's Italy. They was doing so good in the spiral section. What happened? Canada didn't even get past the Plinko section. Very surprising and unfortunate for Canada. Let's see if we can see what happened to Canada in the replay. They're still moving here. They just aren't able to get past that peg. See Italy in the lead. 
entering the first spiral. And they their first went into the bell as well, but then the other marbles pushed them aside. They were able to get out, though. I think they hit a domino here and slowed down quite a bit. Yeah, almost to a stop. And Mexico and the USA both pass. And that's all they needed to eliminate Italy. See there? Spain also trying to get up, but they weren't able to do it because of that domino. So Japan, the USA, and Mexico will be the final three marbles advancing to the finals in this second event of the Quadrilla Marble Run World Cup presented by Hape Toys. We have six marbles, three of which get to sit on the podium, three do not. We'll have to see which marbles are able to do the best in this final round. The final round is about to start. The USA, Japan, the Philippines, Brazil, China, and Mexico. And they are off. It is China and Japan coming out to the lead. But here comes Brazil and Mexico as well as the Philippines who are leading off the pack. And But it is the USA who's probably going to get out of that first spiral first. And to the field they go. It is the Philippines in lead. But here comes Mexico. And they are able to take first place. And they will be the champion of event two. Brazil coming in at second. China in third place. Philippines and the USA both DNF on that domino. A great performance by Mexico. Brazil coming in at second with the silver. China with the bronze. Mexico with the gold. Let's take a look at the replay. China was the first one to get out of the Plinko section, being followed very closely by India. But it was uh, the USA and the Philippines who came out to the first spirals. Mexico and Brazil were following closely to the USA and the Philippines. And let's see what happened after that. The USA and the Philippines were the first one to the little bell section, but Mexico was the first one out with the Philippines. The Philippines were actually ahead, but then they hit a domino on that left side. That allowed Mexico to just go straight, barely hitting that domino. And that allowed them to take the win. The USA and the Philippines stuck on that sideways domino. And then uh, Brazil and China coming in third, or second and third. China pushing Brazil into the goal. So it will be Mexico who will be the champion of the second event of the Quadrilla Marble Run World Cup. Congratulations to them. Now let's take a look at the full results. It is Mexico coming in at first place, Brazil coming in at second, China in third, Japan fourth, the Philippines in fifth, USA in sixth, Portugal seventh, Vietnam in eighth, Netherlands in ninth, and Spain rounds off your top ten. Here are the overall standings. It is Mexico who has taken over first place with 35 points, Brazil in second, Portugal in third place, the United Kingdom has fallen down to fourth, the Philippines are in fifth place. Unfortunate for the United Kingdom. We'll have to see if they can have a comeback in the next couple of videos of this tournament. Congratulations to Mexico for being your champion of Event 2 of the Quadrilla Marble Run World Cup. Brazil coming in at second and China in third place. Mexico getting the 35 points. Brazil has 34 and China with 22 points. We are two events down, three to go in this Quadrilla Marble Run World Cup. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, comment down below, and share with your friends if you enjoyed. And stay tuned for event three of the Quadrilla Marble Run World Cup presented by Hop A Toys here on Fubeka's Marble Runs. I'm Jeremiah, signing off. Until next time, this has been Fubeka's Marble Runs. Good day, everyone.